In this video, I'm going to show you two video tools that a lot of people don't use on YouTube that I think they should consider using. These are free tools and this will also help you improve your Facebook videos as well. Okay, so the first tool I'll show you is how to easily and for free create captions, subtitles on your videos without having to pay someone to transcribe it, without having to transcribe it yourself. The second tool I'll show you is how to easily stabilize your video if you're doing one that's where you're walking outside and shooting a video. Okay, so the first thing you do is when you, uh, once you've uploaded your video to YouTube, um, which is using this button here, uh, you might need to wait for an hour uh, for, for YouTube to process your video after it's been uploaded. Sometimes it, if it's a very big video, it can take up to a day to process your video. But once you, once it's processed, you can go to your creator studio, which is, you know, your icon and then click on creator studio. And then you can go to your video manager and, um, uh, you'll know that the video has been processed if it has a thumbnail like this and if it doesn't have edits in process or if, if it basically has a, has a, a thumbnail image here instead of a blank image, okay? So let me go to the one that I wanted to show you just as a test. So to get the subtitles or captions, you go to the video you want. Uh, if you can't find it, you can, you can try clicking the search box up here and type in a word that was in your video title. Um, or, you know, to, to try to look for the videos you want. So, for example, if I did test video and press enter, uh, it'll pull up all of my videos that have test videos. So I'm going to click edit here. Okay, I'm going to click edit here. Uh, you can also click on this drop down menu to go to the various sections, but I'm just going to click edit to show you. Okay, and then the subtitles and closed captions are here. Again, this will only show up if YouTube has already processed your YouTube video, which again, sometimes takes an hour, sometimes takes a day. Click on this, okay? And then what you need to do is to uh, click where it says English Automatic. Uh, I'm, by the way, I'm assuming that you're using English. Um, if you're using a different language, I, I'm not sure I can help you, but uh, we'll go with English for now. Uh, click on English Automatic. So this means that YouTube has already used its speech recognition software to automatically transcribe your video based the, the best that it can, right? And if you don't want to bother editing the transcription, you can simply click Actions and then click on SRT to download the file to then upload to the Facebook version. If you upload this video to Facebook as well, you can then easily add captions to your Facebook videos. But let me show you what happens when you click Edit. Okay, Edit, uh, it basically now allows you to, while you're watching the video, Okay, um, you can basically play the video, watch it for a bit. Uh, obviously, it's not showing any sound because right now I'm recording the screencast for you. My sound, my voice is coming through. But typically, when you click this, you'll be able to hear your video sound. And then you'll be able to click on this and then edit it. You know, so I'm just going to, you know, type, type a few things. Um, you know, and of course, video, uh, if, if you're a casual speaker on video like I am, you're going to find some things like YouTube's going to transcribe ev literally every, try to transcribe every word you say. So if you go, uh, or have an extra two or whatever, you know, if you say, you know, like I do a lot, that'll be transcribed in, as well. So, you know, you basically want to edit this however you want it to come out as a subtitle. So I'm just going to say every day I get to come out here to, um, to nature. You know, I, I'm going to take out some of the filler words. Walking my sweet little dog, Buddy, who, who, is, who sleeps with me, actually, is, um, uh, who is leashed, who is, is leashed with me today. Okay, so, for example, I'm just going to edit those two. And you can even edit uh, what part in the video, like this is from 5 seconds to 10 seconds, and you can watch it. And um, there's also keyboard shortcuts. Uh, keyboard shortcuts... Um, Let's see here. Oh, click on keyboard shortcuts and it'll show you. You can use your keyboard, you know, hold down the shift key and press the left arrow on your keyboard to, to kind of go back one second on the video or go forward one second using right and shift pause to pause or play the video. So it kind of makes it easy if you want to edit your transcription. But let's just say I'm, I'm done editing just like this. Now, now what I want to do is I want to click pub, publish edits. Okay, click publish edits. And now it's going to uh, give me a second file called English, okay? 
Um, the automatic one is the original one that YouTube automatically did. The English one is the one that I just edited. Now, if you don't want to be confused, you might want to click on English and you might want to rename this file. So it's called English, you know, English edited. Okay, let's just say that. All right. And then uh, I'm going to click exit. Okay, so there you go. English edited. Now, I want to download this caption file and then upload it to my Facebook version of this video. So I'm going to click on this and I'm going to click on um, down. Okay, so again, I click through there and then click actions and I click the SRT one. That's the one that Facebook will take. Okay, so once I've downloaded the SRT, I can go to my Facebook version of the video. By the way, if you don't know how to upload video on, on Facebook, click on here, go to your Facebook page or profile and then click on photo and video and that's how you can um, you can add a file a video file directly to Facebook I'm not going to do that right now because I've already done this in a different tab to show you I, I've already uploaded this file now I can click on captions okay I might want to put in the title and you know put in a few descriptions about this video but then I can click captions click on upload SRT file okay and then choose the file that I uploaded from that downloaded from YouTube I click open Okay, and then this is you upload a file with an incorrect file name. So Facebook requires that you use this. Okay, you use this literally this format. Okay, so you literally have to select highlight and copy this. Now file name can be whatever word you want, but then English, you know, you have to use this. Basically, I just copy this and then I rename the file. Um, so let me actually just show you exactly what I'm doing here. So I have a file on my desktop, right? So I just I'm just literally going to rename the file, um, whatever Facebook has told me I need to rename it as. So I'm going to rename it, press enter, and voila. So there's the file. Now I'm going to just uh, show you again. I'm going to upload the file. Okay, there it is. Click open, and now Facebook takes it. Now here here's an important thing. You need to select the default language. All right, default language. I'm going to select this one. So basically, I have. Um, uh, yeah, so this is ba what what this means is that every time people watch the video, by default they're going to see the subtitles, this this particular subtitle file that I've uploaded. Okay, so I'm just gonna um, I'm gonna send blah 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 blah. <laughs> uh, just uh, this is a test here, so I'm not I'm not doing this for for real. And then I'm going to let me show you here. I'm going to go ahead and click on um, save as unpublished. Just going to show you what it looks like when it actually looks uh, when it's actually on Facebook. Okay. All right. Okay. There you. There we are. Okay. And then um, I'm just going to refresh my. I'm going to refresh my Facebook page for a sec here to see if I can see the uh, the draft, and I want to show you what the what the captions look like. Okay. Um, Okay, you see my drafts here. All right. So for a longer video, it may take Facebook, you know, up to a day for for it to. So see, I it was a short, it's a thirty second video, so I'm not even seeing it in my drafts here. I bet you if I reload it a couple times, maybe it, it takes Facebook some time to process things, process the video. Okay, once you publish it or once you save it. So um, anyway, I'm not actually seeing it here, um, but uh, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and show you the next. Oh, there it is. Okay, so I'm going to click on it. All right, and I'm going to play it for you and see, show you what the captions look like. Okay, one second here. How come I'm not seeing the captions? Ah, okay. So by default, uh, actually, it turns out that by default, Facebook, um, uh, when actually, let me, I'll, I'll, let me explain this. There, there, there the captions are. We know how when Facebook, when you're on Facebook and looking at things, sometimes Facebook shows you um, like, a, like a preview video. It'll be playing a video. Um, I'm not going to, not sure I can find a video here to show you. But sometimes when there's a video, it's automatically playing. Right, it's automatically playing, and uh, if that's the case, you will see. I can, if I can see it here. I'm surprised I can't find a video here. <clears throat> ah, there it is. Okay, so when it's playing, 
um, if, if it was someone talking, you will automatically see the captions. But when you click through, the captions are an option where you, uh, when you actually look at it with sound, then the captions may be an, may be an option here to, that you can click on. Same thing with this video. If it was in the preview, you know, before people click on it to listen to it, they will be able to see, um, they will be able to see the, um, the, the captions just playing. Oh, let me show you, in fact. See, the captions are just kind of playing automatically there, okay? Um, so there you go. That's how you put captions on your Facebook videos. Now, let me show you the other thing uh, that fewer people need, but I think it's, I think it's very helpful, um, which is to stabilize the video, okay? So, okay. You know what? I just realized something. Facebook seems like it's automatically has stabilized the, the background of the video here. Because if you if you watch, so you'll see the background is very stable. If you watch this original one, see the background is like it kind of it's kind of dizzying to watch this video, versus this one, Facebook has already stabilized it. I didn't realize Facebook did it automatically because I was going to show you how to do it on on YouTube and then download the uh, the video and upload it to YouTube as a stabilized video. But to to stabilize the video on YouTube, you click on enhancements and you simply click on stabilize. Okay, click stabilize here. And then uh, as you and YouTube will give you like a preview to show you like, okay, this was the original video. It's kind of uh, choppy or it, it's, it's, um, it's tough to, to, to look at. You might get dizzy watching this video because the background is so um, unstable versus the stabilized version. It kind of zooms in a little bit. That's how the stabilized works. But see the background is so much more pleasant to look at now uh, while it's just the magic how they do it. And then once you're happy with the stabilized tool, basically once you click this button, then you click save. And then it says, while edits are processing, people will keep seeing the original version of the video. Um, and then the video will say that it is, let me show you. The video will say that edits are in progress. Okay. So, um, but uh, it will turn out looking like, it will turn out looking like, like this, how, how stable it is in the background. All right. So I guess Facebook does it automatically as well. I didn't realize that. All right. Um, I hope this is helpful. And as always, I'm open to your comments or any questions. I'm not a video expert necessarily, but ask your questions below the video and maybe I'll be able to answer. Maybe someone else will. All right. Take care.